welcome to Energy Rhythms. Today uh, is a day that we all commemorate 9-11. Uh, um, 17 years ago, I would like to read a passage uh, from one of my friends who had posted on Facebook last night. On this day, 17 years ago, 246 people went to sleep in preparation for their morning flights. 2,606 people went to sleep in preparation for work in the morning tomorrow. 343 firefighters went to sleep in preparation for their morning shift. 60 police officers went to sleep in preparation for morning patrol. Eight paramedics went to sleep in preparation for the morning shift of saving lives. None of them saw past 10 a.m., September 11th, 2001. In one single moment, life may never be the same. As you live and enjoy the breaths you take today and tonight before you go to sleep in preparation for your life tomorrow, kiss the ones you love, snuggle a light a little tighter, and never take one second of your life for granted. Never forget 9-11. As I just mentioned in this um, passage my friend had posted on Facebook, um, like I said, a lot of lives were sacrificed, whether it was firefighters, policemen, the paramedics, children, um, women, and men. Um, all of them, like I said, sacrificed their lives on that day, on, I should say, that treacherous, tragic day. And it's been 17 years for that incident. And take the time to appreciate those who are in your life, whether it's your family members, your relatives, your extended families. Um, like I said, can't take life for granted. And like I said, we, um, like I said, we can never forget. We must stay united together as a country. So we have to have the strength and the love and the selfless service that we have to give for, for us and for others as well in our communities. So please commemorate 9-11, um, our day today. Now I'm going to be talking about a little bit about my business as to what I do and uh, as you know, my, the name of my show is Energy Rhythms, and how that came approach, how I came to that name and that concept is energy is around all of us, and we have to, we survive by energy, whether it's by breathing or whether it's by environment, how we cope with um, our, I should say, with our family or friends or colleagues or coworkers or bosses. So energy is invisible, but yet it is all around us. Uh, energy is also derived from the plants, and it's also derived from the sun as well, and the planets too. So how I got, coming now back to how I got to my name, is energy is, since I do Bollywood Indian dancing, uh, and I do the henna art, which is a very, um, I should say a very unique um, body art form, as well as I do, Re I'm a Reiki practitioner as well. Uh, Reiki healing is a Japanese style of hands-on uh, energy work that, um, for an example, what it is is like you're lying down on a massage table and you have your eyes closed and the Reiki practitioner or Reiki master would put your hands, they, they scan through their hands from head to toe, so they will like just scan, and they will tell you through that scanning as to where your problem areas are in your body. So it's really, I should say, very neat and it's amazing. Uh, you should try to use this in your everyday life and your activities as well as uh, when you do meditation too. 
I also um, do hosting, which um, I've been doing over a year now, and I just love it because I get to meet all different kinds of people who want to promote their brand and business. And like I said, we get to chit chat a little bit. They get to know about me. I get to know about them. So I form that connection with that guest. And like I said, it's, it's just a wonderful experience and I'm enjoying my journey <laughs> with this. Uh, I also host a radio show podcast, which focuses on health and wellness. Um, since that is a very general topic, uh, everything, whether it's um, kitchen remedies or holistic um, remedies, whether it's, um, I should say, uh, tips and techniques that we can use in every day um, to make our work and tasks easier, uh, whether it's numerology, astrology, tarot cards, angel card readings. Um, so everything all fits into the health and wellness um, of within our communities. So I'm also part of the uh, Holistic Business Association. I'm one of the vendors for that. And actually I wanted to speak to you about a couple of the events that are coming up. Uh, we have a, anybody who's an aspiring talent or an actor, an actress, or uh, anybody who does crew work, whether it's behind the scenes, whether it's camera or any production, uh, there is a networking, a film and theater networking event coming up this Thursday, September the 13th at Dave and Buster's on Columbus Boulevard in Penn's Landing in Philadelphia. Uh, the timings are from 7 to 11 p.m. and it's free admission and free parking. So when you get to the uh, parking deck, you must mention that you are here for the event. Uh, and like I said, you can network with all different types of uh, film professionals, entertainment, um, I should say directors and producers, as well as fellow actors and actresses you can um, network with. So please bring with you on that evening uh, a professional headshot and your resume and try to staple it together because they don't like, um, they want things organized and neat. So they look at that point as well too. So a professional headshot and how you get to go for a headshot is that, like I said, there are, you have to actually go to Google and browse uh, and if you do have friends or references, please uh, get that as well and talk to them and tell them that what are you looking for and type of the headshot that you want. Are you looking for a business look? Are you looking for a lifestyle headshot? Um, depending on what type of headshot you want, uh, it goes with the type of project or film that you want to work on as well. So everything goes hand in hand uh, with that. And for the resume, it's pretty much you want to detail your skills, any special talents, whether you know cooking or whether you know a foreign language or um, skydiving or any special talent you think or skills will be appropriate to put on the resume. You can um, please put that down. And also any experience, no matter whether it was in the past or in the, few, um, or in the present, if you have any training for classes um, or any, I should say, uh, improv theater classes that you want to get involved, please do put that experience as well. So any training that you have, put that down. And like I said, whether you have promotions experience also working in conventions, because they look at that as well too. So whatever you think all your talents and gifts uh, you must list down on the resume. So uh, another event that's coming up is uh, Sunday, September the 23rd, which is the Psychic and Healing Expo. Uh, the timings for that is 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. at the Holiday Inn in Cherry Hill in Route 70, which is across the uh, Wegmans Shopping Center, the Garden State Pavilion Shopping Center. 
So it's a $5 admission for that, and it's a one-stop shop for everything, whether you want to buy uh, gemstones or whether you want to get a reading from a psychic or whether you want to get henna done. I will be there as one of the vendors uh, presenting the henna art. Uh, anybody wants to buy any Indian ethnic clothing or uh, anything that you think that would benefit you uh, on your everyday uh, life and daily activities and tasks that you do. So uh, please do come to that. And like I said, about hundreds of people come to that event and is very well advertised um, for that event. Again, it's Sunday, September 23rd from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Now, just a quick thing I want to tell you is how to promote yourself and your business, whatever I have learned, um, I would like to share that with you, is that you have to put your name out there. Um, in my case, um, I was coming from a, uh, I was a accounting and finance professional. Uh, I worked in that industry for about 14 years. And within those 14 years, I had got either laid off um, in my jobs at least four times. <laughs> so uh, as you see that the US economy is just going up and down, and like I said, it's very unpredictable. So you have to have, I should say, whatever gifts and talents that you're passionate about and you want to fulfill your dreams, this is the time to do it now. You cannot wait. Life does not wait for anybody. You have to make that decision to make your dreams come true. And like I said, after I got laid off in fall of 2014 uh, in my uh, accounting job, and I was working for UMDNJ, which is now, for, which is now uh, called Rutgers University, uh, I, had, I made my decision right then and there that I wanted to go into the arts. And since I've been very fond of the arts since I was a little girl. So finally, I did meet that move, that shift from accounting, uh, from accounting and finance to the creative arts, which is a big move. It's like a 100 degree, 180 degree change. And like I said, I am so happy that I made that change, is that I am now becoming very successful in what I'm doing. I'm getting to meet all different kinds of people. And the thing I should say is, in this competitive world, we have to share our ideas or concepts with one another and our stories too. Because when we um, unite as a group, we become more stronger. And um, this is the way how we can benefit one another and help each other out. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, my little spiel today. And like I said, today um, was 9-11. It's been 17 years since um, this tragic, um, I should say, accident has happened. And like I said, we will never forget. It will always be in our hearts. So guys, take care. And hopefully I will have a guest next week um, to share his or her story with you. So in the meantime, take care, have a great day, and God bless. Bye-bye.